Uh, that was good. Go. That had its charm. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many f***ing skits in this, it, it almost feels like you could make a f***ing compilation of that itself. You're right, it's so f***ing like highbrow and well written. Yeah, we, we definitely don't we add We can sell this to Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon, hire us, we, we have a pitch. Nickelodeon, Spongebob meets Sonic. They say... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Plankton's the biggest f***ing yeah, psycho Pla of all. Plankton just can't stop firing off on all cylinders, the Plankton's worst possible insults. <laughs> they like, get the fuck out of here. Like, all right. He'd be like, Eggman, you're just like me. And he's like, what do you mean? And he's like, we're about scientists. <laughs> you're right. And SpongeBob and Sonic fuse and become Super Sponge. Wait, there is a Super Sponge. <laughs> Super Sonic Sponge. Everybody's Super Sonic Sponging. Everyone's Super Sonic Sponging. <laughs> yeah. And Sandy meets Rouge. Sandy Skeets. And they both have a big Les out. Oh, that'd be hot, dude. Scissoring under the fucking nap acorn tree. <laughs> That's my kind of- that's my kind of pitch. They'd be like, get the fuck out of here! That's a children's get show! Out. They'd be like, oh, come on! We're trying here! Here we go! That's- that's fucking hilarious. Okay, Sonic, I'll be, uh, Squidward and you're Sonic. How the fuck are you, Blue Blur? <laughs> Is this still the pitch to yeah. fucking Nickelodeon? It's still the pitch. <laughs> There's some kind of fucking animal in here. What the fuck? This is like Sonic meeting Sp It's like one of those videos, those like fever dream videos that <laughs> fucking Sonic meeting Among Us and then hanging out it's with like a three SpongeBob. Video. <laughs> yes. You're, you're Only Sonic. not twerking and like farting. You're Sonic, go. Where the fuck are you? What the fuck? Where am I? You're, you're Sonic. Hey, it's me, Sonic the Hedgehog. Perhaps you've heard of me. No. Mo well. Do you play I've heard clarinet? Of you. What the fuck? Nobody plays the clarinet, you fucking clown. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst fucking instrument. Uh, Dipshit. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I got a bug. <laughs> Why don't you go come here? Like classic. Like classic? <laughs> like classic Squidward. Like classic Squidward. Like <laughs> Squidward. It's classic. Like classic Sonic. Classical Squidward, classic Squidward committing Squidward portions of classic Sonic. I still- I keep feeling like I'm spilling water. What the fuck is happening? I'm spilling, uh... Did I spill water? I don't know. What the fuck is happening? I can't go up. Me no no. Me no- my brain no work half the time. Hello, Zach. What's up, dude? Where were you? <laughs> Uh, let's just say I went downstairs, dude. Me and Corey got real sad. We were lonely. we were pitching a cartoon to what, like what Nickelodeon. We walked in with hey, our I'll hats you, okay, backwards. Okay, I'll, I'll be the executive. You guys pitch me your new idea. Well, it was SpongeBob Sonic crossover yeah. meets okay. Among Us. Well, thank you guys for coming in today. <laughs> um, so uh, Wait, I'm still so, pitching the idea. <laughs> I guess so, we're gonna repitch it. Well, right. we, we've already had practice now. So okay, now. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Well, so uh, thank you guys for coming in. Hello. Um, yep. My name's Christopher. Glad to be here. I, I was still talking, but, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you for coming here, and, uh, so what's the idea, boys? What do, uh, we, have? What do we have today? Okay, so you've seen the recent success of the Sonic movie. Yeah. Uh, SpongeBob uh, I, I is I don't your... know what Sonic is, what's that? Uh, he's like, okay, it's like a video game from the... It, it, he's it's a, it's he's like, a really uh, it was the character. Marvel of, uh, it was the, the rival of Mario. Oh, you're interrupting, you can't oh, do that well. in a pitch. Okay, sorry. So, I'm it's just, a video game, you No, 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 think it's nothing to do with a video game. It's a video no. game, but this is a cartoon? No, this is, no, he's a popular character based off of a video what does game. He do, what does he do? He's fast, he's, he's fast, he runs real fast, he defeats... That sounds... Uh, uh, well, it's not. It's actually really cool. So, he's like a blue... <laughs> he's blue hedgehog, he, he defeats an evil egg lord, and... We think it would be cool if uh, Sonic used one of his secret rings and he opened a portal to Bikini Bottom. Yeah. Because I feel these characters are also different if you put them all well, thank in. Thank you guys so much for coming in today. If you put all of these I'm characters, go ahead and ask you if, to you, leave. if you put all these characters <laughs> in a room, I think that uh, there'd be a lot of interaction, interactable interactions. What the? Uh, so if you put Sponge, not only will if I you put SpongeBob you, next to Squid, no, no, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't understand. You're blacklisted. You don't get it. <laughs> you don't get it. Come you blew on. it. You just let, blew it big time. Me, you and I'll tell you heard. something else. I'm live streaming <laughs> well, this. You're done. Well, let me just like give you one. You have, you have, you have one more sentence. <laughs> Until you're out. All right, I got it. I got go it. Ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Waste the sentence. Go ahead. Go. Sonic Weed Among Us. Meets yo mama. Uh, uh, 
Uh, Rachel, I'm gonna go ahead and have you cancel wait, wait, my wait, three. No, 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 I'm gonna go have you cancel my no, three o'clock. No, 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 no. uh, I'm gonna need another two hours with these boys. What'd you just say? I'm gonna. You, you, come wait, on, I'm shut gonna, the fuck I'll up. I have you guys for two more hours. What'd Mr. you just say, producer, Mr. Sir, producer? What'd you just Mr. say, Mr. Producer, sir? Can it's I a work in may progress. I, may I have one? No, sentence? I like what he said. You're not getting. You're not. You're not picking up what I'm putting down. Oh. I just canceled my next three appointments. I want to hear more. What did you just say? Say that again. Corey, say it again. Among Us. Perhaps you've heard of that. Play the Rachel, I'm gonna need you to cancel my four o'clock and my five o'clock. I'm gonna need these guys for four Corey, hours. You're a genius. Okay, so All right, hey, hey, I have a question for you guys. A little uh, quiz. Yeah. Do you yeah. guys like millions of dollars? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Guess I'm, who I'm just parched. freaking got some here? Welcome aboard. You Holy know? shit! Oh, it's yep. good to be here. I don't even have to like, have tell more you a story I have more or anything. To say. Well, you do have to suck my cock. <laughs> okay. um, and it, and it, <laughs> but 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 like if you do that, you guys totally have it. Yeah. By, by the way, Harvey Weinstein, nice to meet you guys. <laughs> That was the twist. Anyway, that was the M. Night Shyamalan ending. I, I, I am responsible for Lord of the Rings and Tarantino, so like, what do you? If you hate that, then I, I like those things. Isn't that horrible? That oh. evil pigman demon was responsible for Lord of the Rings and was he? And Quentin Qu Qu Tarantino. Yeah, isn't that true? I didn't Harvey Weinstein get all the, all the funding for Peter Jackson. Did he? I swear that. Let me Google that so I'm not spreading misinformation. <laughs> what the fuck is? Did yeah. evil Harvey Weinstein fund? Evil, evil Harvey Weinstein what? taken I out. I disagree with what he did, but I'm saying he. What did he do? Evil Harvey Weinstein. Weren't you role playing as Harvey? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm saying. Well, that was the twist. <laughs> uh -oh. Hey, guess what, guys? According to Quora.com, did Harvey Weinstein produce Lord of the Rings? Unfortunately, yes. This is Michelle Zhang. He did? Says, unfortunately, yes. He and his brother Bob Weinstein were both executive producer, uh, producers of Lord of the Rings. That's like my favorite movie. That just means the executive they, producer, I, as far as I know, is... That just means a, they wrote their name on the on the book after I swear I heard a story where the Peter Jackson could not get the money, and then Harvey Weinstein went out of his way and, like, got it for him. I'm, I'm saying he's an evil monster. I'm just saying, isn't that fucked up, though? That is fucked up. Lord of the Rings means a hell of a whole lot to me. Yeah. And Go Back on. to the Future, and yep. Harry Potter, and Terminator, and Terminator, and Robocop, Robocop, and Die Hard. Die Hard. Actually, no, I don't really care about Die Hard. Really, to be Die Hard ones are. I it's think okay. Die Hard ones a good movie. It's, fine. it's got a lot of good characters. It's Die Hard Three is a good movie. Actually, the you first... only like the first minute, the Zach. Me? Fir... <laughs> 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 I'm Robocop. <laughs> I I think the first thirty minutes of Die Hard Three is good, and then the rest is. It's got an insanely good hook. I'll yeah, be, it's a really, really honest. good idea, but the, 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 uh, the ending is like an hour, you're like, get oh ready my god, to be it's like disappointed. an Advil bottle, you're like, dude, fucking... I'll be honest, get ready to be disappointed. What? I've never seen Die Hard except for a Nostalgia Critic's review of it. Corey, don't, please don't say that. <laughs> So do you know what happens in Die Hard? Do you know? Like, do you at least know like the pop culture, like what makes fun of it, like what happens in it? No, I don't. Describe Die Hard from what you know about it. Um, it's, it's a Bruce Willis. You know, it's it's Bruce an ironic Willis. Christmas movie that stars Bruce Willis. Ironic. That's an interesting yeah, perspective. With, 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 with I don't like, know. Does the audience know that Corey has only seen the first and last episode of Breaking Bad? I don't think they do. I'm not kidding about that, Corey. That's true. That's when, facts. When the Breaking Bad Straight finale facts. was happening, we all got like, <laughs> like got together and put it on a big projector. And Corey was there. I was like, Corey, have you seen the show? You caught up. He's like, I only saw the first episode. <laughs> <laughs> he missed like 90. What's the math on that? 99. I'm sure I, I'm sure I got the gist of it. You can tell me the pl tell me the plot. I'll figure it out. Well, what do, you, what do you remember of Breaking Bad? Describe Breaking Bad for what okay, you remember. Breaking Bad starring the Malcolm in the Middle dad. Okay. Uh, Brian Cranston. He gets cancer and uh -huh. he has to make mil ma milk. milk. He makes milk. Yep. <laughs> he has to make yep, milk. Yeah. Breaking Bad, he makes milk. He's got to make milk, which I'm is just another milk. turn of meth. Huh. And he's really good at it because he's a science teacher. Chris, can you do the best Walter White say you want to make milk? <laughs> I want to make it a milk. Yeah. Do you want to make milk, Jesse? Jesse. Spoiler alert! Uh, don't watch this part if you haven't yep. seen Breaking Bad. Yeah. Skip, but... skip to this timestamp on. Wait, screen. I haven't seen Breaking Bad. It doesn't skip, matter. Skip you never even watch it. Corey. <laughs> but there's a part in Breaking Bad where Walter White is like freaking out, and he's like, uh, he thinks people are coming to kill him and his family, so he runs home to grab his money that he's been saving up, and he goes down into like the the, the, crawl, the crawl space, space beneath his yeah. house looking for it, and then all the money's gone, and he's just like. <gasps> and then Skyler, his wife gets home, yeah, and, and yeah. he's just like, he Skyler, laughing. where is the money? Yeah, it's it's yeah. like the most stressful thing. <laughs> and then, then she's just like, I, I gave it away to the guy who the I ten. cheated on you with. And, the then ten. He, he, yeah. and it's the most scary fucking reaction. <laughs> it actually like shocks me to this day how fucking scary it is. Really? Yeah, because it's just like, Corey, Corey, Breaking Bad. <laughs> I, 
I, I know yeah. it's been said like a zillion yeah. times by everybody, but Breaking Bad really is a good show. And so is Better Call Saul. Wait, it's good. I, I haven't seen Better Call Saul yet. Wait. I do want to see it. If you really want to sit down and watch a good TV show, watch Breaking Bad. It's only 62 episodes. By the way, I'm I just did the back cord. Yes. You literally missed. You did not watch 96.7% of Breaking Bad. <laughs> you've seen fucking... I bet you did the math for that. <laughs> you've done, you've seen like 3, was that 3.4% of Breaking Bad? <laughs> yeah, so I could definitely make an analysis of the entire show and name off characters. That's scary. I do love that scene though. Every time I watch it, I'm like, damn, he's a good I even actor. love when, uh, again, spoiler, spoiler, skip to this part on screen, when Gus gets his face blown in half. Yeah, I love that. He, I love when he goes, oh! Yeah, 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 <laughs> it makes me laugh. Oh, makes yeah. me laugh when I think of it, but it's such a well-acted <laughs> That, that's that, that's just that's real. That's just actually what would happen. You guys are spoiling it. Hey, dude, Corey, you did it. Corey, 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 you're gonna forget what we're saying. Just you should watch it at some point. Just ignore <laughs> what we're saying. saying. Ignore what we're saying. I want to say something. Yeah. I am. Uh, I have started watching uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Oh, that's a, that's an amazing show. What season are you on? Season two, like episode. Oh, four. dude, some of the best characters. And some of the best. I think the best. I think the show gets really, really funny. Like season. The best characters are introduced in like the first season. Like the the guy with the crazy fucking hair that he ad libs with all the time. Oh, uh, uh, Richard Lewis. Yeah. Yeah. He's fucking yeah, they, hilarious. Dude, they have some really they funny moments. Fucking hilarious. Yeah, also, and I'm uh, pretty uh, sure. I'm pretty sure. Oh, have you, when he's have like you seen literally, when he's literally, when he's literally like fucking Funk breaking Hauser. down and laughing, it's because their ad libbing oh. is like so yeah. fucking like. Yeah. There's moments where they actually laugh. Yeah, Funkhauser. I have no idea. Have you idea. seen him? He's Bob, uh, yeah, Super Dave. He's the guy that talks like it. that. Larry, are you out of your mind? He talks like that's that guy. I love Super Dave. Yeah. This, the fucking Norm episode one. Yeah, yeah. if anybody hasn't seen it. Look, first of all, just watch Norm McDonald's podcast, his YouTube podcast. Yeah. It was chaos. It was like he would make food bully and make fun of the sponsors <laughs> and like drop it and shit and be laughing and joking about it. And he kept losing sponsors, but yeah, um, really, the, yeah, the Gilbert sponsors? Gottfried episode is one of the funniest things ever, and uh, and yeah, episode one with uh, Super Dave, he just acts offended constantly. <laughs> it's funny. It's so funny. Who's Super Dave? He's this old guy with he's a, a broken comedian. voice. He's a he's a genuinely really funny guy. He's really funny at Curb, but he's hysterical on that on that Norm episode. Yeah. I think the last episode I saw that was really funny was um. We're like 30 now, guys, and people are just gonna keep dying now, like, every year. I know. Dude, fucking Norm McDonald. It does suck. It is Bob painful. Sagan, who I, I was never really a fan of Bob Saget, to be completely really fan, honest, but, but he, seemed uh, like a know, he seemed like a genuinely nice guy. You never want a comedian to die that you know, and Bob Saget is a like is is a legend because of fucking what's sad, Tourette's What's sad guy. is that Norm, Bob Saget, and Gilbert Godfrey were literally all three. I mean, definitely Norm McDonald and, and, and uh, Bob Saget were super close. Yeah, I will say, as I, I haven't watched <laughs> Bob Saget... Right? But I will absolutely say that the the worst thing I've ever seen was made by Bob Saget, and that was no. Farce of the Penguins. That was dude, dreadful. Dude, I fucking rented the movie as a teenager. You dreadful. That? Yeah. Dreadful wow. movie. Dude, that was dude I rented it when I was like 14, and I was like, I, I would laugh at the dumbest shit. I was like, this is not funny at dude, all. It's Piss not. Me. Yeah, exactly. Is you, it, uh, is it um, what's his name, Louis Black in that movie too? Everyone, tons of people are yeah. in that fucking movie, and it's stupid because it's like, what the fuck is going on? I'm slowing down. It, it has like some like, of the Did you ever names. see that movie, uh, Super High Me? I, I don't even know what that is. Have you ever seen that show where this guy, Doug Benson, just gets high and he gets his guests high? No, I have no idea what that There's is. There's an episode where Jack Black is- he's just like an asshole. There's an episode where Jack Black- he's a shitty interviewer. He's not a- he's a bad comedian, too. And, uh, and, but there's an episode where Jack Black is on, and he gets really, really high, and starts asking really aggressive questions. And Jack Black gets, like, really stressed out and scared. <laughs> and he starts saying a, saying a safe word. He's like, it's not a joke, he starts going, like, uh, that, that, uh, that feels like, uh, like, boat, boat, or whatever the fuck his word is. And what the uh, fuck? But he's going, like, yeah, do you ever, like, do you ever think about freaking out on weed when you're on, do you ever think about freaking out when you're live? <laughs> and he starts stressing him out. I'm like, you're oh a fucking God. shitty get you're a shitty host, man. <laughs> That, that somehow remi <laughs> that reminds me of the You're fucking Eric host, Andre man. show. Where, like, I mean, you fucking, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Purposely stressing on some guy who's like in his forties who has a kid who probably hasn't smoked weed in like that, five that years. That is something Eric Andre would do, but it would be like funny, and he wouldn't be doing it to like just be an asshole host. But he's also genuinely not funny. He's just like an idiot pothead. What the hell, Eric Andre? No, Doug Benson. Uh, I don't know who Doug Benson is. He parodied that. Documentary and Super Size Me, and he called it Super High Me. It's about this oh fucking idiot goodness. getting what high. Fucking, it's the lamest what shit a ever. What a yeah. fucking maroon. I, I wonder if he's gonna hear this. There's like a 5% chance. Well, good, I hope he does. What do, you, what do you want to say to comedian Doug Benson if he hears this part? If, you, if your fucking first pitch was Super High Me instead of like anything else, like you're a fucking dip. <laughs> We're officially at war with Jash. <laughs> he was a Jash. He's you know so we're taking out Jash. He's a member of Jash. Oh, can, I, can I fucking put flame on the fire? Jash is a, Jash is a mediocre piece of shit that was never playing? funny. 
Look at that. Oh, it's because you're flying. I see. Jash sucks my fucking nuts, and every, everyone on Jesh? it is funny. No. But like, except Chris, you for a few Mike, people. I remember, yeah, the fucking uh, Reggie Watts. <laughs> yeah. That's weird. Is that shit still on YouTube or is that for the remove? It's I wanted be. to do a Norm McDonald bit originally. And I said, remember, yeah, you drew him with a big fat head. And I they drew were like, Norm, and they, it wasn't even him, but they, the people that represented him said he would be too offended by this no portrait. Way. And no I, way. they didn't say they showed it to him, but I was like, exactly. I, it wasn't uh, bad either. I, made I him remember it looked like him, yeah. Yeah, I think it was a pretty good caricature. I made him just like a like There's give no him a way you would make him stomach like a hideous and a slightly old man. chubby face, but it was a. I thought it was a funny dis. Maybe I'll just animate that one day. But um, you gave him a weird Peter Griffin body. Yeah, man. So YouTube Comedy Week was coming out, right? And I remember they were like, yeah, we want yeah, you yeah. to. God, ja I forgot about Josh Comedy came week. to me and we were like, we want Fucking you to do a video YouTube for Comedy YouTube Comedy Week. Week, and I was just like. I was working on potato salad anyway, right? So I was like, uh, I've got a big comedy sketch coming out that I think is going to do pretty good. And they were like, okay. So then yeah. YouTube Comedy Week came out, <laughs> and it was so badly organized that it, it really annoyed me at the time because they, they weren't really keeping in touch, and uh, their watermark broke or something. It was all this weird shit, right? And then the YouTube Comedy Week promo came out, and it was like Harvey Weinstein, the good Epic Meal Time guy. Holy well, boy, Harley, all the stars are here. Yeah, Harley yeah, he's like, I'm, I'm Harvey, Harvey Morenstein. Welcome to YouTube Comedy Week. Hey, my name is Sarah Silverman. Welcome to YouTube Comedy Week. Hey, my name is Smosh. Welcome to YouTube. It was like the stupidest, wow. shittiest video ever, and it had stupid Kevin McLeod music over it. And I was like, what the fuck is this? How are they fucking this up so bad? And then when the fucking, uh, the actual show itself happened, it was like the biggest fucking disaster in the world. I remember it was a, a bomb. Everybody, it, everybody, even the people that participated said a bomb. The only funny thing that came out of it was Norm's, like, red carpet event. That, that is still... Because he was shitting on yeah, it. It was, he was so just making fun of it. Funny. He said these are, like, sweatpants and a sweater. Yeah. And they're literally going, I don't want to download the app, don't download the app, and he's going, no, don't put your credit card on that. <laughs> he's, like, fucking with the ad reads yeah. and stuff. Ugh. You want to know what's fucking hilarious yeah, about uh, John C. Riley? What's that? Okay, this was something I didn't even realize until, like, uh, Dave showed me. Dave is random, but, um, like, he, we were, he was talking about his son, and he's like, it looks nothing like his kid. And it really, it looks nothing like him. Yeah. It looks like a literal Calvin and Klein, like, fuckboy. That's what his son looks like. <laughs> that's hysterical. Like. That's his, yeah. that's his powerful And you see Cal him, hopefully. and I mean, he even makes jokes at the expense. He's like, I mean, look, look at me, I'm like... You know, an inbred clown. Like, he makes his joke. He knows that, like, he's not the most handsome guy. And I honestly think it's mean to call people, like, handsome, but, like... He, I think that Step Brothers is still one of the yeah, top, Step Brothers top is five fucking comedy hilarious. for me of all time. Movie, yeah. It's, like, it's genuinely, like, a I, I really, think, really, really... If people haven't seen Step Brothers, oh, dude, really, you really need to go hilarious. watch it. Yeah, it's, it's genuinely, genuinely hilarious. But, um... Probably you should Will look, up, look up movie. a picture of his son. Chris, was it you that didn't like Anchorman? It looks Anchorman? nothing like him, and it's fucking hilarious. I hate Anchorman. Chris, <laughs> Chris you have every... What, what okay. other popular comedy stuff do you hate? I don't hate a lot of popular no, I comedies. Know I know, I just thought I did interesting. Like, name off a few, and I'll see. Because Anchorman, I really do I, like. I hate Anchorman. I like Anchorman. The first, I think I Anchorman. 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 Anchorman and not the first one. Like, Anchorman got memed really bad, so I get it was like, dreadful. it was well, overused. Was like Steve Carroll's like, I like Lamp. It's like, ha 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 ha. <laughs> no, there's, there's <laughs> other, fun, there's funny lines in that movie. But, he does like Lamp. I don't know, like, I like stupid shit, too. I like shit that's objectively bad. Like, fucking Billy Madison, yeah. but, uh... I yeah, I, I think Billy Madison's funny. Billy I love, Madison I and love Napoleon I love, I, I quote, uh, Happy Gilmore, those are genuinely funny. I've watched I love, them I love so many Billy times. Madison when he goes, he called the poop shit, he called the shit poop. <laughs> I quote that every time to time. I think about it. Uh, I think Huey, Huey Halloween is that's Huey, fucking Huey Halloween awful. sucks, man. Even though I saw it two or three times. <laughs> I know, it's just boring. I'm addicted to Huey Halloween. It's probably like a, up there as like top five best movies I've ever seen besides Freddy Got Fingered. I like Chris, Freddy would got you? Freddie got figured's brilliant. I fucking love it. You know, I feel like I need to get a chance. I, I saw you guys showed it to me, and I had to pay oh, for it. Dude, and I fucking you, hated all it. You, all you I, have to fucking. This is my controversial. I fucking hated Freddie got figured. All you have to do. Is watch the fucking scene where he's working in a goddamn cheese that is funny. sandwich That's factory. That's funny. And, and, and no, no, a cheese. He's working in a place that gives no, cheese I, sandwiches. It's can the I tell dumbest you the, shit. The, the joke that made me laugh the hardest. It what? was. It was when he. Uh, he's in the hotel and he's trying to confuse the guy. He points at the phone. Goes, "You pay for it. You pay for it." <laughs> that made me like laugh really hard when I first. Like that's just such a stupid. It's so dumb. He's just being a fucking idiot. Unbelievably stupid. Yeah, yeah. he's hilarious. Uh, but that movie is objectively terrible. I think the fact that I it's had to pay bad. for it and I was like. But it's good. It's bad, I've, but it's I've come good. to appreciate it a little more. The backwards man, I like a little bit more now. Dude, it's fucking so dumb. Everything about it is just foolish. Rip Torn's great in that. Yeah. Oh. I love Rest when he in broke peace. into the bank in the movie with a gun <laughs> while drunk. 
He's like going near his, like after all that stuff with his son, he's you know, like, come like on, go fuck me. And he's like pulling his pants down while his wife walks in. Do you know that he like broke into, like the real actor in real life broke into like a bag drunk with a gun? Really? Yeah. I didn't At like know age that. 80, yeah. It's hilarious. Isn't that perfectly a character for him? It kind of is. What other movies came out? I can't even remember. I like, uh, what's that? Oh, I, oh, I wanted to say this. I like that S ice skating movie. Sorry, I wanted to say this. Oh, you do? You like uh, Blades of Glory? Yeah, I love that. Really? I don't think I've seen that Blades one. of Glory is pretty funny, actually. Yeah. I, I think Will Ferrell is pretty damn funny, actually. I, I don't have a problem with Will Ferrell. I know he's I in like a lot Will. of, like, weird movies, but he's funny. No, I think he's likable enough. And his skit... This skit he did is funny or die skit. He's funny in uh, wedding crashes. Yeah, the 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 fucking funny or die it's skit. It's borderline a boomer movie, but it's still it's still. Uh, <laughs> I like Meet the Parents, even though it's kind of shitty. Meet, too. I like Meet it's, the Fuckers. It's good. Have meet you the seen? Fuckers. Ha, the fu have you guys seen the meet the funny or die clip with Will Ferrell, where I guess it's like niece or something, like is at the door and oh yeah, that's an old. He's like pretending really like it's like yeah, it's yeah. her. It's fucking like making the die. Like I want my money. It's like a little eight year old girl talking about drinking. Like, really it's so funny. Yeah. Hey, don't call me bitch, I'm a grown man!